بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد Today I want to talk about something that I don't think I am good at and it is something that I feel that many people our age are not not good at When we look at the teachings of Islam we see that we are commanded أطيع والديك وإن أمراك أن تخرج من مالك كله that we are supposed to obey our parents even if they are obeying even if they are commanding us to get rid of all our wealth first of all none of our parents are asking of that but the meaning of that command is that even if our parents are asking something that seems unreasonable to us as long as it is something that will not harm anyone else and it is something that does not contradict the um, rulings of Islam then it should be something that we do when the Quran talks about obeying parents the Quran actually has a wonderful wording to it the Quran says وَخْفِظْ لَهُمَا جَنَاحَ الذل. now a lot of times we get a metaphorical translation of this that we are supposed to be humble before our parents but the literal translation is to lower our it says lower the wings of humility in front of your parents which kind of is like imagine a bird which is lowering its wings in submission now I've been pondering a lot about this and to me that means that not only are we being asked to show the kind of humility that we show to everybody else and that comes naturally to our character the Quran is asking us to change our posture change our demeanor and change the way that we act when we come before our parents it it wants us to actively engage ourselves in humility when we are before them and I don't think that is something that I particularly do or many people that I know do on the other hand we are aware that the Quran wants that the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the happiness of Allah is in the happiness of the father in the pleasure of the father and the displeasure of Allah is in the displeasure of the Father. Um, I had the wording open just right now and I closed it. Regardless, we do need to be better at this. And we do need to actively engage in humility when we are dealing with them. So I think that is something to move forward with. And the Quran finally asks us to pray for them. Oh Allah, have mercy on them. Just the way just like the way that they raised me and had mercy on me when I was a mere infant. Additionally, I understand there's a lot of stuff happening on social media right now, but we ourselves are gonna keep our eye on the ball. And we are going to discuss things that will benefit us in this life and the hereafter. Um, and inshallah, we want to continue doing that every single night or as often as we can, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.